a quick demo on how to get your uh, project to um, have the aliens shoot random bullets. Uh, now this probably isn't the most optimal way to do it, but I'm trying to think of a way that we can do this uh, without uh, making it too complicated or, or sort of having coding constructs that are sort of a, a way above your head. So at the moment they're just shooting from from those different locations. Okay, so this should this should work for the solution and what we're trying to achieve for this project. All right, so this is this is what I thought the best solution to do it. Uh, first of all, I'll go to the top of my program. Program, I create this new um, game timer, and then inside my did move method, I initialize that. I set the timer up with a schedule. Every two seconds, it's going to shoot and what it's going to do is call this create alien uh, bullet. Okay. Now the alien bullet, I did um, end up creating a separate physics category for it. So previously uh, this was set to none. I'm going to change that to alien bullet. You can keep it as none as well. That will work fine also. Uh, but we're going to use this for our alien bullet. Okay. So next we're going to go down to where we had our create bullet. Okay. Uh, we're going to grab this function and we're basically going to duplicate it. Okay, so we're going to duplicate it and we're going to create alien bullet is our new method. Okay, because we're calling it in that old selector method, we need to have at objc at the beginning and then we're going to customize this a little bit. So the first thing we do is I'm going to generate a random number. So this is going to be our random bomb position. Uh, so we're going to look for an integer between 0 and 12 because we have 12 aliens. And these are the 12 positions that they sit on, and I've stuck this inside a list. I know we haven't done lists now, but it's not a bad time to start introducing it. So these are my, my 12 positions along that array of aliens, okay? And my Y position is going to start at 600, and I'm gonna move this down uh, 20 pixels every time the, uh, the bomb is, um, create bomb is called, just so it looks like it's moving down with the aliens uh, down the screen, okay? Then I'm gonna generate a bomb position, which is a CG point. I'm gonna use my random number to get a random number between zero and 12 in here. So it's gonna select one of these numbers randomly. So it appears like it's coming from a random position on my screen. And then of course, I'm gonna use my Y value as well. Okay, so all you need to update from what you duplicated is adding in this uh, global variable. We need to update this here. We need to make sure that our bomb position is updated here. Okay, I've given it a new name, uh, alien bullet, uh, just so it's not the same name. Uh, the last thing is our bomb needs to move, or alien bullet needs to move down. It doesn't need to move up. So we've got to change this to uh, bombpos.x to get that x position. Make sure it's going negative 700, and then we're going to make that move down. Okay, so our y position is changing. We're getting that random time each time we call that every two seconds. Uh, and this should give us the desired result that we want. So I'll run this again, just so you can see how it looks. Okay, so it generates from this top row and then starts going down. The reason for this, I found that it looks a little bit more realistic because if I shoot all the way through, okay, this is the last part which um, gets generated. So it doesn't look like it appears from midair. Um, obviously, if it comes in that gap now, it will. Okay, so the next thing that you'll need to do is to go down to your uh, did begin method and you're going to have to now create um, a new collision based on our, our new bullet. 